Hi everyone, this is Inspiringly Natural with Leslie Suzette, back again for another wonderful video. Here we talk about all things beauty, all things fragrance, and all things self-care. And guess what? Today we are going to talk about some additional, some amazing, some unique, some wonderful layering combos with fragrances that you may already have on your shelf. And if you don't have them, that's okay. They're pretty inexpensive too. So I look forward to sharing with you these, um, these amazing fragrance layering combos. See you when we get back. Welcome back everyone. Here we are all about inspiring as many women as we can to be their most best and beautiful selves, both inside and out. So today, pretty simple. I'm loving me some layering combos with these fragrances, you all. I'm going to try to stop because we this is a channel where we're going to have to talk about some beauty and some self-care. But I kind of feel that it's all wrapped into one thing. So, you know, when we talk about layering combos, we always get in the beauty. And yeah, we get in that self-care because I love the shower routines that we have and that transpire when we talk about these layering combos. So I've got five for you today. I'm really excited to share these. Some of these um, I just got from some amazing content creators, but a lot of them I tried on my own and found out that they were pretty doggone good. So listen, are you ready? Let's get with it. Today, I'm going to start with one that I found this particular fragrance on Amazon.com. And this particular fragrance is so inexpensive, you all. I'm telling you, I could not believe I got this for like $21.99. I think one seller was selling it for $23.99. And I just happened to catch it for $21.99 on Amazon. But it's an amazing perfume. But I'm going to share with you what I layer first and then what I top off. You all know when I say topping it off, that is either the perfume or the fragrance mist that I'm going to use to top off the layering combo itself. So today, you all know I will layer all lotions with none other than, <laughs> you should be laughing because you all know I always talk about this. And this is none other than the Coco Radiant Body Oil by Vaseline. I always put just a dab of this in my lotion before I get started. It doesn't take a lot, only takes a small, maybe pea size, maybe just a bit more. You could say dime size. How about that? Some of you probably want a nickel size worth. That's fine. I don't want to be too greasy. And this one is not greasy at all. But if you put too much, it can get a little, be a little much. So I go with a dime size, sometimes nickel size, depending on, you know, where I'm going to use it. Because I usually use it with my fragrance-free lotion on my legs. I can't really use the, the perfume lotion on my legs for some reason. But my body, my upper body, it works. I don't break out or anything. But um, I usually use a dime to nickel size worth of this in my lotion. So everything that we do today, you will see that I am going to use the Cocoa Radiant Body Oil with my lotions to really help uh, what fragrance mist or perfumes I put on stick. I don't think it's good to just take your uh, fragrance mist or your perfume and just spray it on your body. I think you need some type of barrier. Plus, I also think that it helps your perfumes to stand out and layer well with the other creams that you're going to use on your body. So there is a trick or a technique to this, in my opinion, that you don't just start with your perfume or your fragrance mist, but you do use that lotion, that body oil, that body butter together to really moisturize the skin because really this is about self-care. This is about making sure that your body is moisturized. So let's get started. I had to give a quick little preface to the start of this so that we understand really how the layering routine works. So we're going to start off, of course, with that Cocoa uh, Radiant Body Oil in and mix it with none other than the Bath & Body Works Coconut Cream Pie, you all. Ladies, first of all, I really enjoy this scent. 
Coconut Cream Pie by Bath and Body Works has notes of, and it includes toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. I mean, just think of that. First of all, right off the bat, I get that coconut, but I get that golden pie crust. It is so delicious, delectable, and all of the above. And I, of course, am going to use its fragrance mist as well. So that's the coconut cream fragrance mist. It is, I mean, just perfection. And of course, I've got this $21 perfume and you all might know it, but I, it was just brought to my attention. I love Jasmine Bullard. Um, she introduced this to me when I was watching her. She's a great content creator. She does a lot of fragrance layering combos, but she introduced this guest by Marciano fragrance to me. I got this for $21 and it's a 3.4 ounce bottle, you all. I couldn't believe it. And the smell of this, it has this, this note called Curacao or Curaco. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And it, it's a kind of a note that is included in rum drinks and coffee drinks. And it's bright yet warm. And it's just a, it's very hard to describe. It's, it's bright on the opening, but it's warm in the dry down. And it's just beautiful. It also has that cardamom in it and that star fruit. It is just beautiful. And when you put this together with the coconut cream pie combo, it is just beautiful. It's bright, but then after a while, it warms down. It's good for the cold weather, and it's just beautiful. I mean, I've got gotten so many compliments using this particular layering combo until I just had to share it with you, my friends. I love it. So again, that combination or that layering combination with the coconut cream pie and the guest by Marciano, beautiful. You all, I'm laughing because that that la that first combo I showed you, I know the coconut cream pie bottles, they're a little wrinkled. That just lets you know how much I love them and how much I use them. Moving right along. My second layering combo. You all, this one is so beautiful. Another one that I saw content creator uh, share with me and I just fell in love. And that is none other than using Victoria's Secret this time. And it's called Sparkling Creme or Cream. Beautiful. And I'm going to read the notes. Glistening Coconut and Soft Marshmallow. You are really glistening coconut and soft marshmallow. First of all, I have no idea what a glistening coconut looks like, but I'm going with it. Okay, Victoria's Secret. I appreciate you because when I smell it, I kind of get it. It's gorgeous. First of all, the bottle is pretty. Second of all, the coconut is, is glistening. I mean, I don't, I get it because when you smell it, it's like a coconut drink almost, bubbly. And then that marshmallow is soft. I mean, it's really soft. It's really light. So, you know, some marshmallow scents are pretty heavy. This one is really soft and light. So I'm telling you, whoever describes this stuff for their company, they're spot on. So I'm using this first, and that is the Sparkling Creme Lotion. But I'm going to mix this one with, yes, Goose Creek's Marshmallow Waffle Cone. Goose Creek's Marshmallow Waffle Cone. The two of these together, you all, it is soft, marshmallowy, soft, coconutty, and sweet. So it's soft and sweet, and it's just delicious. Putting these together, I don't, it's just, I mean, it's like being on a tropical island with, you know, lots of coconuts, coconut, coconutty drinks but then adding a bit of soft marshmallow to it. It's just delightful. So I'm putting those together, and then I'm going to come back with that fragrance, that sparkling creme fragrance. And I'm going to top it off with none other than Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. 
Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. This has that star fruit in it that's just going to really just amp up, in my opinion, yet still be soft. Amp up the coconut and the marshmallow, but then bring in the fruity aspect. This combination, you all, is so, so delightful. I'm excited about this one. I wore this one and got compliments right away. As I walked into the doors of a company the other day, I went to take care of some business. The young lady said, oh my goodness, you smell so good. This one is such a wonderful combination. Again, that sparkling creme and Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. Okay, you all, this layering combo is, <laughs> this is one of my own. I absolutely love Strawberry Pound Cake by, you know who, by Bath and Body Works. The lotion as well as the spray. It has notes of, and I hope I can read this, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I mean, think about it. It's a strawberry pound cake topped with whipped cream. You all... How more, how much more delicious can you get when it comes to a strawberry pound cake? These two. Now, I have come across a company called Goose Creek. I know you all are probably very um, familiar with Goose Creek, but they also have a fragrance mist. And if you don't have strawberry pound cake, at least if you don't have the fragrance mist, I have also decided to add not take away, I've decided to add strawberry sponge cake by Goose Creek to this layering routine. So I would use the strawberry pound cake, lotion, and fragrance mist, but I would come right behind it with the sponge cake. Now, let's talk about order. Some people have different orders. Some people start with the fragrance mist and then they top it off with the perfume. I don't care which way you do it. It's still going to mesh together and work perfectly. I've been trying both. I've been starting with the fragrance this time, the perfume, and then coming back with these fragrance mists, okay, after lotioning. So let us let me tell you what perfume I'm using. I'm using Pink Sugar's Red Velvet. Pink Sugar's Red Velvet. You are this one is so beautiful. I mean, all of the pink sugars are sweet. It just adds the layer of sweet to any combo you use. And this one does, to me, smell like red velvet. It really, really does. It adds just a little more sweetness, and it just jives well. Did I say jive? Yeah. Jives very well with the strawberry pound cake and sponge cake routine. So it just adds that little something to it. It makes it sweeter. And I love this. So the order, I, I, I lotion first. Okay. Then what I did was I came and I went ahead and sprayed my body with the pink sugar red velvet. And then I came in with the strawberry pound cake, but then I added the strawberry sponge cake too. This one, you all, by Goose Creek, it literally smells like a sponge cake. That's what makes it kind of different from the pound cake. Pound cake, of course, is a little heavier. You smell that with the Bath and Body Works. This one, a sponge cake, is a little lighter, and you get that from this Goose Creek fragrance mist. So I use them all, and it makes for a delicious, when I say delicious strawberry treat, when you use these four, you get it. So that's this layering combo with that strawberry pound cake, sponge cake, red velvet cake combo. <laughs> all cakes. By now, you should know I love layering combos. Let me tell you why I love layering combos so much. If you're like me, I have a, a shelf or sh a shelf filled with perfumes. Some are niche. Most of them are just regular everyday designer fragrances or celebrity fragrances. So I especially want to use up my everyday celebrity 
inexpensive fragrances. When I layer, I'm able to use them more often than I would normally use them. I can just pull a niche fragrance and just wear that. I can lotion my body with a body oil, body butter, or lotion, and then add that niche fragrance. But sometimes you need a little bit more for those celebrity or everyday fragrances. Why? Because sometimes they're not as potent as the niche fragrance. So most of my niche fragrances, they don't need layering combos, okay? Sometimes I will. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I will because I just want to see what I get. But most of the time, I don't. So that is why I want, I love these combos because you can do whatever you want. You can make it work. You can put a fruit with a marshmallow uh, scent. You can, I mean, you can do so many things and it's just fun. That's why I love it. I love being creative. So if you're like me and you like to be creative with your scents, if you like to try different combos, this is the way to go. So I just had to say that. This next layering combo is just, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it is a niche fragrance. It is a niche fragrance. And what I want to say is, although it's a niche fragrance, you may have this noted fragrance, uh, but not it, it may not be niche. I think it may work. So I will give you some ideas with this one. So today I'm using um, this combo, the Goose Creek Black Cherry Lotion. You all, this Goose, Goose Creek, first of all, is very inexpensive. I got this on sale for $2.99. And if you go to Goose Creek, you may not be able to find this black cherry. But if you go there right now, they, they have some lotions for $2.99. You may want to check it out because their lotions are really good. Really, really good. And they're very authentic and you and very uh, they have very familiar scents. So if I want cherry, this particular one, it smells like a black cherry. This one smells like a black cherry, you all. And I only got this for either $1.99 or $2.99. So that's why I love Goose Creek. Uh, thank you all for telling me about Goose Creek. I had no idea, but now I know. This one is Black Cherry by Goose Creek. And I'm going to take, you all know I love this. I go to my local TJ Maxx and I get this pink berry cherry vanilla. You all, it smells like a cherry soda. It really does. So I take this and I top it off. And I'm telling you, I'm smelling already like a cherry. But I wanted to pull in a niche fragrance. And I pulled in BDK's Rude Smoking. Rude Smoking by BDK. You all... This one smells like a Dr. Pepper or a root beer. And it has that cherry, but it also has that vanilla vanilla scent. It's, it's just a really rich cherry is what I will call this one. It's, it's a, if you've ever smelled root beer or a Dr. Pepper or a cherry Dr. Pepper, because they do have that, you'll get that from this. So bringing in the pink berry, and the lotion by Goose Creek, with that, it's just really amping up the cherry. That's what I'm doing. Now, if you don't have this niche fragrance, it's okay. If you have just the cherry vanilla scent, it's going to work. If you have an Ocha Sinful, Sinful by Ocha, that's going to work because it's got that cherry. It's like that uh, dupe of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Any cherry perfume that you have should work. I just wanted to pull in this one with that cherry Dr. Pepper type scent to see how it would work. And you all, I got a lot of compliments from this combo. A lot of compliments. And they said, you, just, you smell like cherries all day long. You just smell like a cherry. So I knew it would amp it up. So I absolutely love this. Again, that's Rude Smoking by BDK with my Pink Berry along with my Goose Creek Lotion. Love this combination. Okay, you all, my last and final of the day now, my last and final fragrance combination. You all have heard me talk about this one, but I just had to bring it back. I wanted to share my sadness with you. Yes, I'm pretty sad today. 
This particular combination is my ultimate favorite. But I'm sad because the lotion is almost gone. I'm going to have to cut the lotion at the top. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And you all are probably laughing because you have probably done the same thing. This one is Bath and Body Works Pear Creme Brulee. Look at the lotion. Look at the bottle. Yes, I know. I'm, I tried. I tried to glue it back down, but I said, I'm a, you know, since I was unsuccessful, I said, why try to do that? Why hide? Why just not just be transparent with your, your viewers, viewers, subscribers? I'm being transparent today. This is raggedy. I don't know if you can see it, but it is utterly raggedy. But you know what? It's not all about appearances. It's what's on the inside. And inside of this bottle, inside of this tube, houses the most decadent, creamiest pear scent you will ever find in America. You all, this pear creme brulee, <sighs> holler if you hear me. Holler if you hear me. You all, this has notes of baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. Can you say pear cobbler? Can you say pear pie? Can you say pure pear decadence? You all, I have come to the point where I am going to have to take some scissors and light toothpaste. I am going to have to cut this to get my finger into this tube. It is so good. And I did not buy a backup. Please, smell it first at the store. If it's something you love, go ahead, buy a backup if you can. Because you all, this is it for me. If you have any pear creme brulee and you would like to mail or ship it to me, please see my contact information in my description below. I would love more of this because you all, I'm almost out. Look at it. I'm doing better with the spray than I am with the lotion, but I need the lotion. That's what makes the scent pop. So you all, pear creme brulee, and I've got to top it off. And hopefully by now, you know what the topper is. And I have a backup of this, you all. This is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. Fancy by Jessica Simpson. The dent in this is real, but I don't have any fear because I have a 3.4 backup that I found at Burlington just a few weeks ago. Yes, Burlington sells fancy. You all, this has pear, caramel, vanilla. You, you all, this right here, this right here, this is it. When, when you talk about the ultimate combo, fragrance land combo, you're looking at it. You are looking at it right now. And again, if anyone would like to donate, I accept all pear creme brulee donations. You all, the ultimate layering combo. Bath and Body Works pear creme brulee with Jessica Simpson's Fancy. <laughs> So those are my five most complimented layering combos. Compliments, compliments, compliments. I love compliments, but I, I love smelling those complimented fragrances even more. So I hope you enjoyed that one. You all know I cannot leave without sharing just a few words of inspiration. And you know what? The word for today or the phrase for today, ignore the naysayers. A naysayer is anyone that pretty much comes with negative comments contrary to what your vision is. If your vision or your dream is to own a business and someone comes to you and say, you don't have time for that. You got all those kids. You don't have time to own or run a business. Guess what they're called? That is called or the definition of a naysayer. Anybody that comes to you with a negative or an opposite comment to
to what your dream or your vision is, that's a naysayer. Or what we usually call sometimes a hater. Yes, sometimes they don't intentionally mean to be a hater, but just their words alone, just opposite and going against what you are trying to go for in your future. Those are naysayers. Sometimes we have to ignore those naysayers. In fact, I ignore all naysayers. Now, naysayers are different from people that have, for example, started a business and they have experienced some things and they come and they share wisdom with you. In other words, they try to share feedback or give you feedback or give you insight into where they've already been. That's different from a naysayer. Please, please, please understand, we need all the wisdom we can get, especially from those that have experienced where we're trying to go. However, we could tell a negative Nelly from those, that's try those that are trying to share good wisdom. Naysayers must be ignored. You must keep your eyes focused on the dream and the vision. You must shut out negative influences so that you can really hear and respond to those that are trying to give you wisdom that they've been places that you've never been before. I can't, I can't take the negativity. I need positive influences. I need those that have shown the way, gone the way to help lead the way forward. So try to not, try not to hear the negativity. Try to receive good wisdom, receive from those that have been that route before, and try to take in all that you can to be your most best and most beautiful self. Listen, we don't have time for negativity. We only have time for positive influences, positive words, and words that will challenge us to go the distance. I thank you. This channel is inspiring as many women as we can to be their most best and beautiful selves, both inside and out. We talk about all things beauty, all things fragrance, and all things self-care. I thank you, all of my supporters. I appreciate you. As we continue on the road, listen to 500 subscribers. We're almost there. I'm looking at the numbers and I am so appreciative of all of my subscribers. Please continue to encourage people to subscribe by sharing this content, by hitting the like button, and by hitting that notification bell. Don't forget to do that. I appreciate you. Everything you do helps this channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time.